Okay, so I'm Kalen from I Poker I Mania and good evening to everyone. Today coaching is going to be about nine minutes and eighteen minutes. And I have I talked about running like six tables or so. And I keep four tables, so if you want to refer into some hand on some table, it's going to be a bit easier this way. And as you can see, I have some nine men, some eighteen men from the poker stars, and and ten <coughs> some nine men from eight eight to eight poker. In here, pretty clear value bet again. And when there's no fourth spade coming, I think we'll then will we'll pretty much always call if he has king x. Maybe even some eight x sometimes. Basically, when the ports are a bit draw, more draw heavy, I prefer to prefer to size my seabeds a bit, bit larger. In here, I'm actually going to check behind. And pretty jackpot flopped here. And yeah, I'm going to be calling here. Didn't. Didn't get what he had, but so pocket checks. It's just basically that if I see uh, continue betting the turn and it's a crazy, it's going to be pretty ugly. The ugly situation. So what did these guys have? Queen three. Well, king queen I can understand, but this guy went all in with queen three. Well, have to have to love those players. So, if the screen and audio is working working as it should, please comment something on the on the English chat. And these hard stats are somewhat visible on the bottom right. And basically, biggest difference if you compare nine minutes in the eight 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 poker and poker stars is that eight 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 doesn't have anti strike away, but they are going to be as you see twenty forty level. It's on already five five chip anti's, so it's pretty quick tier as well. Is eight. If this if this was suited, I would open definitely, but. Of suit media group AX from that position is not that that awesome hand. And good evening to Danita as well. Two sex shooter is pretty crappy to complete here. Something like five, eight, six, eight, two. That would be would be okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
and basically just for uh, this this coaching or previ previous coaching i decided to combine these eight demon and nine men because i think think these formats are so close to each other overall <coughs> Both are nine men and both have pretty high ICM on close to bubble. Of course, eight demons are closer to chip EV on the first table compared to nine men. Okay, so everything working as it should. Which is always nice. Seems like we have at least one maniac player, so to say, in our table. King Jack suited. Well, I could be opening, not mandatory by any means. So at least two callers seems to be pretty call happy guy, especially this first one. And not really hitting. Question is that does these two players have too many AXEs in their range? I think it's probably quite quite high likelihoods that they have from that position. So I'm just going to check fold. It's then pretty mandatory call here against against him. He's going he can have quite a few semi bluff combos as well. So of course he also have quite easily Jack X tier, which does beat, beat us. And in here, I'm going to see that relatively small sizing to try and to try and lure him to stay in the pot. And it does work. Hopefully, he didn't catch the flush tier. I'm going to be check calling definitely. He has such high VPIP. Of course, sample is small, but I think he's going to be value subbing weaker pocket pairs, some air, some portion of time, and so on. With King Queen, can't really do anything against four PP sizing. Seven queen shooter seems to be folding quite decent amount, so I'm just going to raise more. <laughs> Limping would be a, a, a utter okay option. I would pretty much never, or really, really rarely, open fold queen seven shooter here. King 10, I'm just going to fold here. If this, was, if this was shooter, I could call, but I don't think we are flopping well enough with King 10 overall. <coughs> In here, I could try to. Well, it's pretty loose. Uh, let's just fold. Talked about making ISO raise, but when there's also, no, of course, sample is quite small, so it might be that small pawn just seems seems looser than he is. King then showed that is really clear clear spot on the upper left.
And so if you refer into some table and it's especially if it's some some of these which are in the slots uh, commented like this upper right is for example table two bottom left is table three and bottom right is table four or at least say that if it's bottom right and so on queen jack suited i could be flatting here this range is going to be relatively tight overall so it's not the greatest of situations but I think still that this hand will be playing well enough, but if he see bets here, I'm just going to be just going to be folding. When he checks, I assume that he doesn't have premium hand most of the time. So I think this is decent spot to be semi bluffing. And I'm going to second barrel if he calls. Look at trees. Well, it's okay to open. There's not really stack sizes that would be would be that great to be three bet subbing against me, so I think I will get get enough folds usually. <clears throat> and yeah, cities so can can be pretty wrecky. Yeah, it's this table. Queen Jack Jack, well it's not the greatest of flops overall. Because he's most likely having some big aces. Question is if he's folding like pocket pocket eights or something like that to single bet. Probably not. And I don't really want to be like two paralleling or three paralleling pocket trees. Because it's pretty much zero equity hand overall, like two out. And if he's not folding like ace 10 or higher ace and so on. Well, here I would defend against min race, but when his size is it's so big, I'm definitely folding. Six nine hit pretty nicely, and I'm just going to be check calling here. Of course, sometimes the board might get might get ugly, or if he does three barrel, our hand might not be strong enough. But when he checks behind the turn, I think I'm most of the time having the best hand. And then he shoves. Backdoor flush, maybe. Uh, I think he probably has too often value hand, and I shouldn't really beat any any sort of value value combo. And here, not much sample on the villain, but let's try to make. Small three bet. Basically, it's either small three bet or fold situation mainly. Mm, 
Well, for Croy questions, I would say that it's best to use always the Shark Scope leaderboard and search from there to see some some of the Roy persons. Seven nine. I think they most of time don't have queen when they check, so I can go for check call or leading myself. And I'm mostly planning to check call the river because nine is card that offers pretty nice amount of draws on the turn. So I think check calling will have best value. Is dues. Well, after that, there's no no point to continue with asking. I'm just going to be calling. There's really no point to be three betting because I will isolate. Isolate will learn range so much. He's probably going to fold like a queen type of hand if I three bet here. And we do get second nut flush draw, definitely calling here against C, but And I don't think there's too much merit in betting myself because he's probably not going to fold, fold enough of the better hands. checking is kind of that there is not not necessarily that many that many hands I beat pretty unlucky and in here they just mean bet so I decided to call call the flop even though it's not the strongest of hands And yeah, probably not too often good there, but with the bot odds I get, well, can be even ahead. Sometimes it seems, it doesn't make any sense for him to be betting his pocket tens like that. And in here I'm going to value bet the a6. There's quite a few few draw combos I could have. Is <clears throat> king. Easy call against UTG, but when UTG plus one comes along as well. Not so sure anymore. I think folding a king off is okay. Maybe so that would be okay to call. Because he also seems pretty tight. 500 hands.
Nine seven, I would be showing against when unopened, but <clears throat> nothing to do here. Is nine shoot at one one limper. Uh, I'm going to shove. Seems we lost. Yeah, so Queens woke up. <laughs> if I had raised smaller with the ace nine, I would have still folded. Folded against three, but so adding here against Limper is shallow. I'm just going to be shoving for value. King ten. Seems like this Yara Yaradam is probably also wreck, wreck. And in here I could open a three. I think those players won't won't be won't be flatting that much outside of big blind or so so Blocker value will have some some value. <coughs> Seems to be pretty acro guy this Sahara Elvis. Well he's using using his big stack. Six. Well, I know he's going to be active on the small blind. Uh, definitely calling here with the bottom pair. Of course, it's sort of situation that he might think that I don't have much of much of AX when I just call preflop. So it could be a decent spot to bluff catch. And let's see what he had. Queen seven, really shallow shove, so and seems to be kind of wrecky guy. So I'm going to be calling. And on the 10-6 hand, when he double barrel the turn, he's probably not doing that with like King X type of hands that often. So even though it's overcard, it's not not that bad for me. If he's basically just value betting decent AX or better. And pocket two sees. Pretty close, whatever it's it's good to shove or not. I think it's a little bit better to shove than than open fold. <laughs> uh, 
when he checks the flop, he most likely doesn't have big, like king x or so, but not sure if he really has enough enough of the bluffs either. And I'm basically blocking the flush draw, some of the flush draw out. was actually quite close to queen 7 with my stack depth but so tilted is probably going to be calling pretty wide pretty wide tier so and king queen I'm going to be min race calling Drunk betting pot. Pretty ugly. Because if he doesn't fold <coughs> fold anymore most most of time if I shove, it's going to be pretty bad to shove for me and 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 it, the price is not really really good enough to be calling. Okay, I will check now. I think if he has something, it's more or most likely seven or queen. Yeah. Have been folding way too much against this bet, so. And with 9 jack I could go for stop and go. And it's simply too too good to be folding. Maybe he folds something if I make that sort of move. Do, so I'm just going to be shoving. His range is most likely going to be pretty wide. But not this time. Or bad timing. But pretty standard play overall. Well, now there is a lot of com draw combination he could be having, so I'm going to going to hero call, and he's kind of funnily value betting same hand, which is pretty optimistic.
a few more tables. And definitely for not folding when he pets. Pets so small. Well, didn't really think he has trips. And once again, he's dong petting. So oh, we are in the bubble here on the bottom right. So if, if the table allows, we should be abusing, abusing really heavily, but seems to be quite few of active players. I thought this Vobas guy would be flatting, flatting more than, than three betting pre-flop. move those final tables visible against min race I might defend here but when he makes 3x no point really It would be profitable to open some T6 as well, but I think these players are unlikely to be three betting so wide that it would be better than min race. And tried to limp here with the ace three. Of course, we get decent pot odds, but I don't really like to be calling race to. Calling 100 here. Basically, Ace doesn't have much of much of value most of time here, so it's more of more of hitting. Okay, six is is kind of nasty again here. Because I doubt if subbing is really going to be really going to be good. Be one hand to mark. Would have flopped, flopped the shed, shed here. And not improving on the upper left, so if he's firing third barrel, I'm just going to be. Just going to be folding.
if I just could remember how to mark from this. Oh well. Ah, it was by clicking the right button here. Can you then show that I'm just, just going to be shoving on the upper right? It's four open, pretty horrible flop overall. So easily going to hit his range. With ace 9 I could also min race call, but if he's made it's just going to be calling, then I prefer to be open shoving that one. And with queen jack suited I pretty much have to be calling against this small of stack. The hand has just so much equity. Then will be playing a bit better post hop, so I usually usually go for min race in those situations. So what do you think about having six tables? Is it good amount or did hit the dues? Previously, he did check fault the turn. I think I just fold it. Yeah, thanks for Nixie. Notice that one. Insect two that definitely going to open. This cutoff would have a bit less of stack I would be shoving, but I think it's more reasonable to min race with how, how deep he is. Well, I don't love the situation that he opens 3.5 3 pp, but still I think ace 10 is going to be a bit too, bit too strong with this stack situation. Yeah. I'm not sure, maybe. I think it's just too, too strong still.
and no draws has completed on the bottom left so I think when he sizes it's so small I'm going to be calling there's also some possibility he might be even value betting something like check 10 I should have actually well would have been okay to open There's this small stack, so they should not be playing too much against me, but seems like seems like it was good time to snap fault this time. Yeah, I'm usually using stack on the upper upper left, so m most of the tables are here and then I Move the tables into slots here when needed. I don't usually keep keep tables like this on the, on the slots, but I think for this coaching coaching purpose, it's okay to keep them keep them more like like this. And basically, so Tilted is going to be playing any two when he's unopened against me here. And definitely calling loose looking button shove with a7 here. <coughs> but for example, if button had folded and small blind would have shoved, I would have easy fold with a7. Pocket sixes, I think with 20 pp from this position I can go for open shove. And in here basically I'm not folding against, against this player. player, so... I prefer to shove over calling. And with on the upper right, if when I shove, this blind should be pretty tight against me. And I don't really want to be race folding, for example, against so tilted. So tilted in that spot. And yeah, not sure sure what Eki means by that comment. Any king x is going to be profitable here, so most of the time I'm going to be just shoving if I don't have a reason to do otherwise. I think I can I can take one more. More, at, at least one more nine men. Probably a few more games overall. I would assume some of these to be soon ending
Well, 75 chips to call. Crappy hand, but I suppose it's a bit too, too good of price. around 8 be, be effective, I think. With the king 5 hand. I'm going to show if it's unopened, or I can go for sort of non-all in play. It's actually pretty borderline, but I kind of like like to be a bit aggressive here. Caller, so I'm not trying to semi bluff further. Of course, I did also get get flush draw here, but I just don't see them folding enough. And ace on the flop on the bottom left, so it's pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. Day three, I'm just going to be shoving against this limper guy. He sometimes has to has premium stuff, but most of the time not. And in here, Ace Deuce. I'm actually not quite sure of that tat hand. But I don't think it's it would be horrible at least, but. Not totally sure how the ICM works here, I don't remember. King Queen, I'm shoving. Queen, I shoot it. Only sort of ugly part is if small blind shoves here, basically. I will get such a great price that it's probably best to call at that point. But I think folding queen nine suited would be would be a bit too tight. Pre-flop. And again making these funny mean bets. One kind of interesting question is if he ever makes this sort of play, if he has to check, so I could try to bluff, 
Turn the hand into bluff and see how what he does. Uh, but he didn't want to fold, so that's one of the problems, I suppose. Not that often trying to make such plays, but a stain, yeah, it was on the eight demon bubble. Bubble from the cut off. Could check that one as well. Seven definitely shoving. And mean three betting guy, I'm just going to be four betting. And in here with the smallest stack, I'm going to go with the AX three seven. So let's play these these tables to end and then, then check some of the some of the hands. Let's try again. They both are pretty accurate from the tree betting side, but still, <coughs> AX is basically one of the one of the most reasonable or weak AX of are pretty much most reasonable race folding hands hands on that situation. So <coughs> definitely, most of time raising those. Uh, for Eki, I tried that. Uh, <coughs> I tried that yesterday. It was working decently. In here, I don't really want to induce on the bubble with Ace King with these stack depths. Tried the software. It was working kind of weird way in some person like quick. Quick keys only work if I had had the uh, most most over the table I wanted to use. 
use the hotkeys, so it was pretty weird. And in here, Race Jack is going to be good enough against this wreck guy, shoving. Unlucky to someone to wake up with such monster. He called, I probably don't get anything better to fold. By making second barrel. There is some merit in bluff catching if he had bet, bet the river. And 7 8 shooter. Well, I probably don't have fold equity that much there, so. Basically, the hand has so much equity anyway that it's going to be better to call pre flops than, than to fold or solve. And yeah, I think that Ace Deuce, Deuce was probably too light call on the eight team and four, four handed. Well, let's just try if he folds when he's making such limp preflop and check flops. They quite often just give up. <coughs> Decided to slow play with my trips. Of course, there is danger of of the flush, but I think still that it's going to be okay to stack off here. And Queen and Shooter, I'm definitely calling with smaller stack, and it has good amount of equity. Well, I have been playing around 10 to 15 on the 888 poker. It's a bit tougher to be playing playing tier compared to poker stars. Day six, if the button is limping, I'm going to be shoving. He just limps so so often that, well, did PP wake up? Well, splitting most of time. Pretty horrible call because I can't really be shoving absurdly wide when the button is co calling here. On the poker stars on the previous year, I or on the overall, I have been playing even 30 tables when I was grinding for Supernova Elite in 2014. <clears throat> I 
in here I'm just checking the turn and giving him him rope to bluff because if he had for example flush draw he might be might be folding when there's danger that he's already beat And queen four is most likely profitable so is that question why is that for eight 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 multi tapling or Wow, these guys really love to make so stupid, stupid calls. For the 888 multi tabling, it's just that there is such such many stupid things like weird pop ups everywhere, and I think it seems to be for some reason much much easier to get shit out as well. And for example, there is no, or at, as, at least as clear preset sizing buttons for the pets and so on, compared to poker stars. Let's try again. If he's still subbing, then I have to be adjusting my approach. I could also check behind here with the king, king and try to get into showdown. Ouch, that was ugly. Runner, runner, flush. <clears throat> that was ugly. Well, the tables, games are softer in 888 compared to Poker Stars. But it's just 
tougher to get tables running and 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 tougher to multi table overall. Weird limp call lines. It's opening pretty pretty often, so I'm going to defend King Four. Even shoving would not be not be bad at all. I do have cut shot, and King High can be decent amount good, so I think it's better to be calling the C bet. And pretty weird line again if he actually has. Plus, for example, So now the question is just that what what hands were ones we want to check because I didn't he didn't mark any of them so at least the S do's call call on the eight team and four hand it was probably too too loose even though the wreck is most likely shoving any two I think pretty much there. Pretty weird looking call with ace when shooted by Neo out here because I still am shoving like 11 pp from UTG so it's pretty tough for me to have for me to really have anything or well sure I can have some some of weaker hands than ace seven shooted but not that many. Of course, I can have like King Jack shooter type of stuff, but it's not really enough. And this check I mean raising and pretty much calling if if one player happens to be shoving. It was at least that a seven, a seven hand 
Of course, I can't use use hoarder resources during when the Pokerstars client is is running. But let's search some of the hands. So this was the situation I called, I think. Called on the forehand did. Of course I have or the stacks are pretty pretty even and I think so tilted will have pretty much any two any two ranged here but it might be that or actually I think that it was most likely to too loose to be calling with a stus off maybe something like a7 or something would be okay And there was the A7 off from the cut off at least. Eight four. This seems to be pretty tight-looking player. So could have tried to steal. Is then with the, this stack size is kind of hand that basically usually if I'm min racing and I face three, but it's going to be pretty uh, minus EV, I would say to call. But I don't really want to be min race folding either, so open shoving is going to be decent option. Pocket sixes, I'm definitely never going to be. Well, when he opens, I'm always shoving. Seems to be active, active player. But if it was unopened, I would usually just open shove. Nasty timing again. Probably not that one. And a seven, I'm going to call here. And in the final table. So this was the cutoff situation, I think, which Danita asked about. We can check that one as well. Kind of pouring to one table. Well, usually for the session review stuff, uh, 
I'm usually checking marked hands if I have some and then can be doing some some special stuff like checking how how I how the defending of certain hands has been going with from the big blind and so on. And I would have called here against the, these 2000 chip stacks and folded to other players. Let's check how, how has it gone. So four games, this one running still. Bit, bit on the minus side, but of course clearly profitable if if winning. And some profit mainly from the twenty dollar nine man nine man game. Do you remember any hand to check from the? Pacific or egg 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 side. <coughs> well, this, for example, is one of those. Those spots where I can't really be folding Ace King here, even if he happens to have, well, of course, if he happens to have Ace here, then I'm pretty much screwed. But if he has, for example, some Queen Nine or something, I still get potage to call again, just to get top pair. And of course, here when he pars third time, it's pretty likely that I'm behind, but. At the same time, if I'm like one one out of ten times ahead, it's going to be better to call than fold. So, <clears throat> so so. I think it's it's kind of mandatory call still. Yeah, I could play some heads up stuff. Probably two is enough. Yeah, but we'll get nine is pretty easy. Easy stack of and backdoor flush does come in, but should be pretty easy value, but anyway. And when he solves, it's it's pretty ugly. Pretty ugly. Uh, okay. It's just that if he happens to be value solving some of the weaker two pair combos, it's probably okay. But and with twenty eighty two behind so probably pretty close whatever it's best to cool or fold Yeah, 
In here with pocket force, I'm just shoving against the limp. Let's lock this table. Well, kind of nasty board. I think there's enough two pair combos which can be still calling probably against some random guy. With bit deeper stacks I would definitely call one of these guys folding directly. Basically in these games there's pretty much no point to be using over min raising as open race size.
Shooter days I would be shoving, but offshoot is not not good enough. And stacking off with the queen on the up bottom left. Kind of setup situation pretty much. Well, these are not running that great. <laughs> Have to say. Pretty unlikely sixes would be good here. <laughs> kind of weird looking pet though because well maybe some slow blade. Maybe some slow blade straight or some jack eight or something. It's just three but so small that I think it's kind of okay. It's five, he just lost pot by bluffing, so would he be steaming? Well, split pot. Okay to me. And have to call with any two on the upper right.
on the left table, I'm just calling and give him some space to bluff if he if that's what he wants and well he shouldn't have really queen when he raises when he raises that turn it doesn't make any sense at least if it's not like ace queen so i'm going to be i think he can might be stacking off with some ax And not hitting, but well, it's not really the greatest of spots to be bluffing. So basically, every draw has missed. So and his line is is more of value heavy. going to be a check raising what the f check three wow <clears throat> that was something Well, our, our trap hand became pretty much bluff catcher. Those probably didn't go go too well, but let's let's check the hands at least. Quite a bit below EV, EV as well.
So yeah, we talked about a seven, seven or something, but this was pretty bad call from my part. So I'm pretty sure that Will Lane is going to be shoving any two. If I drop like thousand, let's say that I have two PP less, I think it's going to be okay. Okay to call. But yeah, that was that was too too low, loose call. And a seven would have been really marginal overall showing hand. It would have been okay, okay to show, show as well. So that would have been much clearer decision. Of course, question is always that to dust will lanes go wider than this range is. And pretty tough to say, but I think going uh, going either way in here would have been okay, and definitely should have been folding the ace twos, ace twos in the blind versus blind. The ICM side is just so so strong in these these games, but yeah, I think that was. That was the hand, there was the queen eight at least, with which someone asked from the small blind, or was it something like, it was some queen, can't remember exactly. Probably on the Pacific side. <coughs> well, not that one. Maybe this one. So even if Villain is calling, calling pretty wide, it's going to be marginally profitable. And most of the time, I would say that shoving windows off would be would be totally fine, because usually people don't don't call this wide. But yeah, that's for the for this coaching. So. Thanks for anyone commenting or watching and good luck for the games or if you play.